Is Terry McLaurin going to get what he honestly deserves here? Because he has skipped the last two days of minicamp. Ron Rivera says a deal will get done. Ron Rivera also saying, like, no, we're not trading him, so stop asking me about it. How much is this going to hurt the offense this year? Um, I guess, Jeff, how successful can this offense be without this guy? And, like, Carson Wentz needs him more than anybody else. Yeah, he does. He, he really does. You know, you, I, I, you always try and play devil's advocate and look for things. But, like, I, I this would be bad for, for Washington. I mean, I, I kind of like Johan Dotson, but, you know, relying on a rookie to come in and all of a sudden just replicate what Terry McLaren can, can bring for you, like, that that's a really risky thing. And, and you look at Carson Wentz and, and just, you know, that, how he plays – Obviously, like playing behind a good O line, he was okay in spots last year. But you know, he had he did have like Michael Pittman as a big target on the outside, and and McLaren can just you know obviously he just draws attention. He, he whatever he does, you know, he he's just he's good at creating separation. He's good at drawing people downfield. So without him on the field, guys like Samuel Dotson, uh, who's ever starting at tight end, it's probably not going to be Logan Thomas at the start, and even their running backs. Like there's just not going to be as much space on the field. Teams are going to be able to stack boxes. This team needs Terry McLaren on the field. Ron Rivera's right. Like, trading him would be stupid. Uh, you know, he, he's just – he's a number one receiver who, like, you know, I, I think there's still lots to give here from McLaren, too. I mean, don't forget who he's played with in his first couple years of his career. Taylor Heineke is a big part of that story. So, you know, what he's done and able to put up numbers with the quarterback play so far – uh, it kind of tells you what kind of player it is. A player I think will eventually break out for like you know a top three kind of wide receiver season. They need him on the field to be a big loss. And uh, as far as fantasy goes, I mean, this team I don't want to say be dead without him, but like it, it would not help for no, sure. Anyone no, on the field. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Like this is a guy who has constantly delivered as their leading receiver since he entered the league. I think it was 2019. And Pierce, to go off a of Jeff's point here, like last season, 77 uh, passes he caught. North of 1,000 yards, five touchdowns, easily leading Washington in all three categories. They're in trouble without him. Uh, well, what about with him? Let, let's just assume that he does sign and everything works out. Yeah. Are they really that good if McLaurin plays? Is this Washington team really that uh, imposing? I mean, what do we expect? What are the expectations for Carson Wentz in this match? I, I, I just don't see it. Last year he had a good offensive line. He had Michael Pittman. He had a great running back uh, supporting him and allowing him to have open passing lanes and keeping defenses honest. Uh, he had an offensive coordinator that was and an offensive head coach that were offensive-minded and allowed him to play. And he still got, what, 3,500 yards, 27 touchdowns, seven interceptions. Those are decent numbers. Do we really expect him to have better numbers this season playing for Washington? Ron Rivera is not going to turn him loose. Ron Rivera is going to have him as a game manager. There are some weapons, but they're not as good as the weapons as they had last season. The offensive line, yeah, they had issues last year, probably hit the worst by COVID. You remember they were starting a plus-size male model at one point. It was like a fourth stringer. <laughs> Their line's going to be better, but I don't know if it's going to be that good. They made some additions, but their additions were just basically making up for some of the guys that they lost. I don't expect big things from this Washington team. Yeah, so said Pierce is exactly right. I agree with that, but the thing is, if McLaren's not there, it's it's just going to be worse. Like, it's, they're going to go from, like, yeah. average to worse. So, yeah, I, I still think he's a big part. And, I mean, we start a plus-size male model every day in Emerson. So, <laughs> I mean. Plus-size male model. Dude, that was, that was Emerson back in college. Like, college Emerson. Um, he, he was thick with two Cs. Bring back college Emerson. He seems fun. Yeah, yeah, he's he's a good guy. He's a, he's a really okay. good guy. My wife actually says all the time she really misses him. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> oh, okay, dude, I guess I'll just stop clanging and banging and shredding in the gym all day.